Hello, this is a video to install Linux Mint 9.3 on HP Gaming Pavilion 690 with Intel uh, i5 and uh, NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti. It's coming with a Windows 10 pre install, and uh, how you can see the devices uh, are listed here. Just to give you a heads up, uh, I decided to install on the third try. I went to Linux main website, I download uh, one of the distribution and uh, in the documentation uh, you can find how to create uh, the bootable USB drive. So you can have, uh, you must to have a uh, few gigabytes uh, USB drive, download the small app, depends on the operation system which you have. Uh, it's very well documented on the Linux Mint website. The small app is pretty straightforward. Just uh, open the, the file which you download with the Linux Mint distribution, selecting your USB drive and uh, press the button start. After a few minutes, uh, the USB, live USB Linux distribution will be ready. So I decide to use uh, extra uh, additional drive, which you can install on that computer, because I didn't want to mess up with uh, my Windows drive or even the two terabyte drive or the boot managers. The reason why is because sometimes the boot managers have uh, compatibility issues, overwriting, etc., which uh, I really hate. So I want you to be sure that it's completely independent uh, booting process, and I'll control it from the BIOS because the BIOS, when you boot the computer, you can select from which drive you want to boot. So after a few seconds, my life. Uh, Linux Mint uh, USB was ready. I rebooted the computer, and when it's the computer start, you have to press Escape to have a startup menu, and F9 to select which boot device you want. I tried twice. One of them is with the immediately by default settings. You click uh, Start. Uh, the your Linux distribution on the desktop have uh, immediately install Linux Mint. I select the languages. It's not uh, anything special. You selecting uh, the Wi-Fi has been detected uh, immediately. I didn't have to do uh, to install any drivers. It was already there. But I stop. Just I wanted to show you here, I stop uh, and I didn't proceed because I didn't want to mess up with my Windows. If you want to install together with the Windows, you can do it, it. but I didn't want. So I removed my Windows 10 SSD, which is M2 SSD drive. Didn't want to make any changes in the boot manager. So after I removed the Windows SSD, I reboot again. But this time, just for the sake of it, I activate legacy boot source just to see if everything will be fine with this one. During the installation, I didn't see any differences, so I can boot uh, on the both way. Linux Mint boot uh, fine. Sorry for the autofocus issue of my camera. Again, I click install Linux Mint. Connect to the select install third party software just to let you know that uh, here I selecting to erase the Linux Mint, which I try to play a little bit. So you will not have these options, you have options to install completely erasing the drive. But 
doesn't matter which booting method uh, I selecting you see later that uh, everything was uh, installation was smooth but by the end always I have message fail of installing boot manager doesn't matter how I said it's a legacy boot or the, the standard now booting procedure in the BIOS something was uh, was wrong in the boot management I don't know why so the good news at the end I was able to to boot even without this strange group installation manage anyway that's uh, that is what is happen I playing a few times to see if it was just randomly no it's always will have this message so I decide to continue without a bootloader and until I'm still in the live USB I try a interesting a very useful boot repair feature which is also fail but uh, just to show you I did try that part too so in the live uh, live USB Linux Mint have a nice feature which is called uh, boot repair I'm showing you that all drives are here is not like a drive malfunction or something I select advanced option because by default it's trying to install on every single drive inside of the system this bootloader and how I said I don't I have an additional two terabyte drive which comes with the computer I want it to only be installed on my third drive for Linux to be sure that I using the, the right drive I went to the program which is called disks and you can see the letters which is your drive for me it's a 320 gigs sdb1 so i'm sure that uh, i want to install only on this sdb click apply they trying to install some packages ask me even to be sure to be connected to the internet but by the end was again unsuccessful strangely after I give up of repairing or create a perfect installation because always is complaining about bootloader is not because the installation itself I just reboot the machine and my Linux was there The first time after I boot, the very first time, it took like 15-20 seconds with black screen before I see the Linux Mint logo. After that, it was the booting process was really fast. But the very first time after I boot Linux Mint, I had very long time of black screen, and I was able to hear the hard drive working. So. I don't know why was this slow process, but Linux Mint appear logo and it boot very successfully. So whatever was failing before didn't uh, actually do anything to prevent the booting. So I connect to the internet and install the NVIDIA drivers. Uh, from a very nice uh, pop-up window so I don't have to search I just click device manager it's immediately show me that uh, requires uh, this NVIDIA driver I select it in current version 435 
and from this moment Linux Mint was uh, fully operational and very well configured. I will not uh, bother you with uh, configurations etc etc. Have plenty of videos in YouTube. Just to let you know that uh, the the idea to install on the additional hard drive is that uh, I will have. Uh, untouch windows uh, so when i put back my windows drive i'm sure that nothing has been messed up inside of the bootloaders and managers and if i want to select to boot from linux or windows i using a bias of the computer not the software solutions which uh, can be really tricky. Also, you see that I am able to use it like external drive. So I put in an external enclosure with USB 3. The speed is like internal drive. The good part, you can install programs not like the live USB because this is a fully operational installed drive. Thank you very much for watching.